What's up guys? So in today's video, I'm going to be cleaning out all the enclosures for the baby sulcados. You can see it's a little bit dirty. Um, I usually just spot clean it with like all the dirty food. Um, I just fed them. I fed them before cleaning it so that then when I clean it, it doesn't get dirty right after. So you can see there's a lot of food left over. And I usually just take out all the leftover food. But um, it still gets a little bit dirty. The mulch is not too bad. It's just dark because of the dirt. So I need to, I'm going to soak them and I'm going to swap out all the dirt in the mulch for some clean one that I just bought. Alright, so we have all the babies here drinking some water. And I took them out of the enclosure. I'm going to go get the fresh mulch and the dirt and swap it out. I'm just going to throw this in a garbage bag and then dump it afterwards. There's the soil and the mulch and all I have to do is get all this into this garbage bag right here. And this, these are going to be the easier ones. The ones that are going to be a little bit harder are going to be those. But I'll find a way to scoop the, uh, the dirt out of these. So basically what I'm going to do is just put it in like that. And just let it slide right in. Just like that. And now i got to pick it up. Alright, and just like that. A clean tub. So now all I have to do is put a little bit of dirt in there. A little bit of mulch. And put their hide back in. And it will be a brand new enclosure. Alright, so I have a little bit of dirt in there, and that's basically just like a little bedding for them, and they could burrow into it a little bit if they'd like to. The enclosure is ready, and I'm about to take these guys out, they're already ready to come into their enclosure. And I usually like to do this once a month, but I do have a lot of babies. If you guys see that your enclosure is a bit dirty, what you could just do is just mix the dirt and the mulch up, and just all the dirty stuff would go into the dirt, and eventually it will break down and it would all turn into dirt. Uh, especially if you have like a cleanup crew like uh, earthworms or isopods, springtails, anything like that. It help break down everything so that it's a lot cleaner in your enclosure. Uh, but since I have uh, so many of these guys, I like to make sure that it's clean. So I'll probably mix it once a week and I'll ch completely change it out once a month depending on how dirty it is. If I see that it's too dirty, obviously if I feed uh, different things like if I feed Missouri, um, it'll get a little bit dirtier since it's wet and it'll get all over the enclosure so if I were to do that maybe I'll clean I'll swap out the mulch and the dirt but uh, usually it doesn't get too bad since I use a tray to feed I use one of these I use one of these trays uh, I just put the Missouri on top throw it in there and it tends to stay pretty clean like that but if it gets a little bit out I'll just mix it and it stays pretty clean like that I don't have to waste so much money on switching this but uh, keeping your enclosure clean would probably just cost you like three or four bucks these uh the topsoil here is like a dollar thirty and the mulch is like two dollars and forty cents so it's pretty cheap just to clean them all out and that way we keep them all healthy if you also have just one uh you have a lot of leftovers so you could do it probably with um uh, for a couple months with just the uh, the dirt in the bag like that but yeah that's pretty much it i'm gonna put all these guys back all right so now i'm doing the second batch of babies uh, these are Luna's Clutch. And you can see they're a lot smaller and brighter. They're obviously a little bit dirty now because of all the dirt. But uh, yeah, these guys are a little bit smaller, a little bit brighter. And speaking of Luna, the babies, the really small eggs, they're probably going to be hatching in a couple more weeks. Uh, the eggs were like this big. So I'm really looking forward to see how small the baby tortoises that hatch out of those eggs are going to be. And uh, these guys are available if you guys are interested in any of these. Uh, you can send me a message on Instagram at Shadows Reptiles or you can send me an email at uh, Shadows Reptile. No, no S at the end after Shadows Reptile. Just Shadows Reptile at gmail.com and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, on Instagram, I should answer faster than on email. So if you guys are interested in any of them, they're on sale right now. Probably going to be on sale for like a week or two more. Uh, I'm just trying to put them on sale now since school is going to start back up and all that. I uh, just want to get as many of them to a new home as I can uh, before all the other ones start hatching out. So uh, if you guys are interested, send me a message and I'll hook you up with any other ones that you want. Either from this clutch or from any of the other clutches that are back there. Alright, so I already finished soaking all of Luna's babies. So you can see they just finished. They had 15 minutes drinking uh, some water, getting a little bit of sun. And I already uh, switched out all the topsoil and the mulch. So they're already in their fresh enclosures. But as you can see, these guys are still not done eating, so I'm not going to do them all right now. 
I'm gonna let them all finish. I'll probably do them in a couple hours and these guys as well because they still have some food left in there. So I'm gonna end off the video here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'm not gonna be posting as much anymore because I'm starting school again. So I'm gonna be trying to make uh, either less videos with uh, more details and better quality or I'm gonna make some uh, high quality videos but smaller and they're gonna be shorter so they're gonna be probably like four to five minutes and yeah that's basically it we're about to hit a thousand subscribers we should probably hit it the week coming up now so hopefully we get there and thank you guys for the support and if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to leave a like subscribe leave any comments and have a great day